Hot enough. <laughs> If laughter is the best medicine, the U.S. China Comedy Center has double your dose of comic relief. Two cultures, two styles of comedy, one entertained crowd, night in, night out. Founder Jesse Appel says it's a must-have in Beijing as it helps further blur the once well-defined line between two different worlds. We're trying to mix the, the Chinese and the Western styles, do them in Chinese for Chinese audience and do them in a way that the Western audience, when they see them, will say like, yeah, that's, that's real stand-up, that's real improv. Mission accomplished. The material refrains from politics and cultural differences and focuses on good old-fashioned laughter. Most of the center's performers are bilingual and say even if audience members are not, they'll still enjoy the content in the opposite language. <laughs> It's kind of uh, a very chilled environment. You get to play, you get to do something maybe a lot of people don't get to do much in Beijing. Bridging cultures through laughter in Beijing. It's not just a language joke, uh, but also we do a lot of physics jokes, improv comedy. Improvisational skits are a big hit both on and off the stage. We give them random cues, we give them um, random words, then they can just perform them out. And yeah. then the, you know, the audience can be a part of it. Right, it feels that we are part of the show, so it's pretty good. The world is changing. It's not an unusual thing to have a foreigner be able to speak Chinese. It's not an unusual thing for a Chinese person to be able to speak English. Uh, we need to deal with kind of the deeper level problems, like how do we make people laugh? How do we tell each other stories? How do we make people care about each other?